Hello guys and welcome to this video about Solid Thinking Compose. We will take a quick look at the interface of Compose and see which area does what. So on the top you have different buttons. For example here you can create a new file, open the file, save the files or save all modified files. You have run options in the middle and on the right you have your debug options. Then on the left we have a project browser where you can see which figures, which files are in the project currently and you can manage those. On the main window here you have a certain file which is opened and where you can write your code. On the right, right beside the, the main window here you have a view browser where you can display a figure of for example a matrix inspector. We will see that in a, in a minute. On right we have a file browser where you can delete create rename files you want to use in your project and below that we have a library browser in this library browser all the functions which are understood by compose in the oml language are listed and we can go to the help section by just clicking a certain function right click and say here help on select or by simply pressing f1 here we can see how the function is organized, which methods it has defined and lots of exemplary code which we can just copy and paste it in our main window and see what, what the function does and play with it a little bit. Alright, so that's um, the library browser and on the left side again we have a property editor which is used to change the view for example for the figure. You can edit the legend, uh, the, the font size for example. And below the property editor, we have a session information browser. So there is a command history and a variable browser where we can inspect, for example, um, this variable x. We double click on it and see the values, which is uh, um, displayed here in views. If you want to see more videos about Compose, please consider subscribing to this channel or give a thumbs up to this video. If you have comments on what to make better in the future videos, please just leave a message, leave a comment, I will be happy to read them and see what I can do to make this uh, a better uh, experience for you. Thanks for your time and I hope to see you in the next video.